The Red Raiders have to have a dominant win on Saturday against the Tarleton State, Texas. And if they don't, it might just be time to set off that panic alarm. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I am RC Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for a 100% free Texas Tech YouTube channel. We're giving you daily updates, whether that's on the recruiting front. We've got multiple Micah Hudson videos here on the channel, including film breakdowns with Lyle Leong Jr. You know him, the former Texas Tech wide receiver legend. We've also got daily updates in terms of news, rumors, and everything else. If you are a true Red Raider, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the know on Texas Tech football all year long right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel. All right, in today's video, we are going to preview the Tarleton State game for the Texas Tech Red Raiders and in a game that Texas Tech, simply put, has to dominate. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have to go out there and dominate if you're the Red Raiders. We'll talk about a plethora of things in today's video, including injury updates, players to watch for both teams, what Texas Tech needs to do in terms of the must-watch matchup in order to make me and probably you feel better going into Big 12 play, and then we'll discuss the odds and the predictions later in the video. But if you want to and I think you do because I have a feeling that y'all are going to like the score prediction for me later on but I want to hear from you guys what is your score prediction for Tarleton State at Texas Tech let me know down on the pinned comment below all right let's set the scene here for this okay because this game is super interesting and I thought Texas Tech Athletics really had a lot of good stuff in their media guide for this game when the Texans are coming from Stephenville to the 806, right? And this is really what stands out. This is from Texas Tech Athletics. Texas Tech enters unfamiliar territory Saturday as the Red Raiders will search for their first one of the season in week three. This is only a, the 11th time in program history in 99 years that Texas Tech has started the year 0-2. Of those previous 10 seasons, not going to like this one. Texas Tech... Um, has rebounded and posted a winning season only once, and it was in 1947. So history definitely not on the Red Raiders' side. And speaking of history of this matchup, well, this is the start of it. Texas Tech and Tarleton State have never played each other. Uh, Tarleton State will obviously make their first trip out to the 806, and it's much needed for Texas Tech in the sense that, well, the Red Raiders should get off to a good start. Now, Interesting aspect of this is Texas Tech is three and seven all time in its third game of the season where they have started 0 and 2 in that respective season. So, looking to make that four and seven, obviously, are the Red Raiders. The Red Raiders will be out, will be without, I should say, a couple of key players, including Jacob Rodriguez, obviously, Isaac Smith out for the year with a knee injury. Dennis Wilburn, Joey McGuire said, had a concussion actually. Um, he sustained in week one, and now they think that he can get back for week two, but he will be a game-time decision as well for the Red Raiders. All right, when it comes down to really guys to watch in this one, right? I mean, it from here on out, it's going to be whoever the hell the quarterback is for Texas Tech, right? Tyler Shuck has to have a damn near perfect week, um, if you ask me. Listen, he's got to be clean, and he's got to be efficient. In this game, I get it. He hasn't been exactly what Texas Tech fans wanted the first two weeks. I think he'd be the first to admit he's had a couple of mistakes, right? But you can't have that against Tarleton State. You got to come out if you're Texas Tech and put up a 50 burger. Simple and plain. That's the brand this week. You got to come out and put up 50 points at least against Tarleton State, a team that gave up 30 plus points to McNeese State and North Alabama. OK, you have to go out there and strictly dominate if you're Tyler Shuck. So I'm watching to see how quick he comes out, because, listen, I know a lot of people want to see Baron Morton start at QB one. Damn it. I want to see Baron Morton play this week because that means Texas Tech absolutely dominated with Tyler Shuck and the twos are getting a lot of run. That's what I want to see. I want to see Tyler Shuck come out here and handle business. Right. I also want to see Taj Brooks handle the ball more right? He's your second best playmaker behind Jerron Bradley. Get him the damn ball, right? I get it. He's awesome in pass pro, but
but get some confidence in this man going into Big 12 play, all right? I know Taj ain't lacking any confidence, but get him some carries. 17 total carries in the first two weeks of the year for your second best playmaker on offense just ain't going to cut it for me, right? I want to see Taj Brooks get like 15 carries a week, right? Especially in the Big 12. You need him. You need him in pass pro. I get that. But go out there and utilize the man in the run game. We'll talk about them a little bit more in just a second, but I got to see the Red Raiders pass rush this week. Simple and plain. Now, last week, I know people were critical of them not getting to Bo Nix. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to be critical of them last week, but against Wyoming, I just didn't think they showed up really well. Um, they didn't do a lot of good things in terms of getting to the point of attack, getting off the block and actually getting to the quarterback. I thought their rush lanes were um, if I'm being honest, putrid against Wyoming. Now against Oregon, the, scheme and the point of attack for them was to stop the run game. So they didn't really want to pressure too much and miss the point, right? In terms of the backfield overcommit, right? They wanted to stay back a little bit and ensure that they could really have an extra body or two to contain that lethal Oregon run game. And I thought they did a pretty good job um, specifically against the running backs. It's funny, both the quarterbacks, Bo Nix and Tyler Shuck were the leading rushers for their respective teams. Now, Against Tarleton State, you better go after it, their quarterback. Simple and plain. You better go after VG, their quarterback, okay? you got to get five-plus sacks, all right? You need a confidence boost if you're with the Texas Tech pass rush going into Big 12 play and going into Morgantown where you will play in the afternoon the following week, okay? You have to do that if you are Texas Tech, in my opinion. All right, some guys to watch for Tarleton State. you got Victor Gables. He is the quarterback for them. Um, he's got seven touchdowns, three interceptions on the year in terms of the two previous games that they played against McNeese State and North Alabama. The Texans are averaging 52 points per game um, in their first two games. Then you got Keelan Johnson. He leads the team in receiving with 255 yards receiving. Crazy part is it's only on seven catches. This is bonkers to me. I don't care what level of football you're playing. If you have a Yards per catch average of 36.4. That's ridiculous. That's a guy to know on the Texans offense. Speaking of a playmaker for the Texans, we flip to the defense side now, and it is Patrick Jones, a DB. He leads them in tackles with seven. He also has a pick six on the year that he took back 71 yards um, earlier this year. So definitely um, some guys that you need to know there. I mentioned it earlier. The matchup to watch is simple and plain for me. The Texas Tech D line against the Tarleton State offensive line. Texas Tech has to dominate this matchup. Plain and simple. If you, you have to get after the quarterback this week. You have to show, okay, this is why we hyped up Miles Cole. This is why we hyped up Steve Linton. You know what you have in Tony Bradford and Jalen Hutchins, but who the hell is going to step up outside of them in terms of getting to the damn quarterback? Got to see it this week. You got to take advantage of the lower competition matchup. Get that confidence boost high. This is it, right? Like, I'm not saying that Texas Tech, if they get five plus sacks, that's going to translate to Wyoming. But I do think they need the confidence and to have it on tape. Like, hey, you did this. Put this into action when you go into the Big 12 as well, and good things will happen, right? You have to have that if you're Texas Tech this week. And I think um, I think they will. I think I'm most interested to see the D-line for Texas Tech this week in terms of the matchup against the Texans of Tarleton State. As for my prediction, I got Texas Tech 63-13. I hate to be this guy, but I was pretty close on the last prediction. I had 38-31 Oregon last week. It ended up being 38-30, but been pretty solid when it comes to these predictions um, over the years, and I think Texas Tech does get back on track in this one. This has to be a get-right game for the Red Raiders. Plain and simple. And if it isn't, hit the panic alarm because this season may be going south really, really quick. Listen, I get it. They haven't played a game in the Big 12 yet, but if they struggle against Tarleton State, what makes you think they ain't going to struggle in the Big 12? Let's be real about it, right? What makes you think they're not going to? So you have to come out here if you are the Red Raiders and simply put, put your foot on their throat and absolutely dominate to get that first win Go into the Big 12 with a little bit of momentum, head out to Morgantown, and hopefully you can build upon the successes that you had against Tarleton State in week three. All right, one more time before we head out of here, who you got? Leave me your score prediction for Tarleton State at Texas Tech. I know we're going to be seeing a lot, a lot of Texas Tech high scores in this one, but 
Maybe we'll uh, do this. How about this? We'll give a shout out for those that followed the whole video 10 minutes in. I'll give a shout out to the person that is closest in terms of the score prediction on the next game preview video. So again, let me know down in the comments below who you got. Score prediction closest gets a shout out on the next game preview next week for the West Virginia game. Let me know down on the pinned comment below. And one more time, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for free. Free, people. Daily Texas Tech videos. Nobody else is doing this on YouTube. Daily Texas Tech videos. Last week, we gave you seven videos. Technically, eight. All right? Go and hit that subscribe button and join the most engaging Texas Tech community here on YouTube and the largest Texas Tech fan community here on YouTube. Of course, I'm talking about the Back to 12 podcast, Jim.